out. We will have a new website in about um, three weeks. It's going to be a complete e-commerce site, so you could buy stuff there if you want. Right now, it's it's a there is a site, but it's pretty updated. So it's not current, and you cannot buy anything there. Um, apart from having my own company, which is a fashion company, I also um, teach at Parsons School of Design. I teach for the last two years and um, I teach bachelor's programs so if any of you want to be a fashion designer and you're thinking of a school such as Parsons or FIT or School of Visual Arts or you name it, right? Um, I can certainly fill you in on all the ins and outs. Um, I also um, sometimes sit in on the admissions committee for Parsons so we can talk about portfolios and things that they're looking at. Um, I also at Parsons in the summer I teach a program for high school students like you. It's an intensive two-week uh, academy camp um, and um, there are three professors who teach it and I'm one of them. And um, yeah, so if you ever consider of taking it, I also can give you some ins and outs. Um, and what else I do um, before we jump into what you want to learn. I, um, I have a website. Um, it's a it's like a fashion website uh, informational site. It's like kind of like style.com, but maybe a little smaller. It's called Daddy's Fortune, um, and it's basically a website where you could go in and you could see what's happening in fashion right now. Um, you could see street fashion. It's updated several times a day. You could see like how people dress in New York on the streets, or you could see um, pictures from the latest fashion week show or an interview with the designer. We also have videos. Every week we upload new videos and uh, we have several series going on. One of them is my favorite. It's um, we select um, really stylish people and sometimes we find them, sometimes they find us. We, we find really cool people who have great closets and we go to their houses or apartments. Wait, is this style like you.com? No. Oh, uh, there's one just like that. Um, they don't have video, so what we do, we go into the apartments and we have a video camera and we actually make a little like seven minute movie or so about their closet. So the per like if I came to your house, you would show us your closet, we will see how it's organized or how it's not organized. Believe me, I've seen some closets where like people find like uh, a jacket that they lost two years ago during filming. It's like, oh my god, I thought someone stole it from me two years ago. And I <laughs> Funny. So it's, a, it's pretty cool because, you know, it's, um, we have some people who have closets that are super organized, like the color of the socks, they go from dark to light. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's not about organization, the video series, it's about um, the style, about clothes that you have, about how you put it on. The person who is uh, presenting his or her closet, they also put their favorite things on and they talk about how they mix it up and what, like, the, today I feel to dress like that, tomorrow I might not feel like this, um, where they got them from. It's, it's really, really cool. And it talks about accessories as well, like how you like, oh, for this, I'm going to throw this here. So um, on that website, we also have internships. So if you guys are looking for a fashion internship, that's a great site to go to. But that's, 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 that's all. Um, now, I'm here to talk about fashion and fashion industry. And if you ever want to be a fashion designer, how? Um, if you're thinking of building your portfolio, what do you start with? Or if you have a portfolio, do you take a step back and ask yourself, is it a good one? Um, maybe you want to be in fashion, but you don't want to be a fashion designer. You want to be in business of fashion. You want to be a fashion merchandiser. Um, you want to be a buyer for a store. That's very much fashion as well, right? Or maybe you want to be a stylist. That's part of fashion as well. You want to be a photographer. Um, there are many, many ways that you could get into fashion, and I feel like many times, and I was certainly one of them when I was your age, I just knew I loved it, but I had no clue what I wanted to do in fashion. I didn't even know what the different things were. Like, I had no idea that there are 10 different styling careers. You could be a personal stylist, you could be 
a stylist for a magazine, which is completely different. You could be a stylist for a store. You organize how the store looks when customers walk in. Um, you could be a stylist for a TV show, which is completely different from the other one. I had no clue. I just thought there is only, oh, I'm a stylist, that's it, you know? But, but the same thing with the designers. There are many different designers, many different avenues you could go in and, um, and love. And, and that's the point. I think that what I hope to accomplish by coming here today is I want to inspire you. I want you to be inspired to take a next step. Um, the next step to maybe discover what you actually want to do. And maybe the next step will lead to another step and then another step. And, and hopefully you'll arrive one day and like, this is what I love, this is what I do. But you have the luxury right now to explore. If I were you, I would just try all different things. I would, I would just try to suck the information in, learn from people like me, from your teachers that I'm sure are really, really good, from movies, websites, uh, books, um, just be a sponge and, and, and put yourself out there. Take other classes outside of high school or outside of any other things you do. And, um, and you could create amazing, great things. I mean, you guys know that there are many fashion bloggers now who are still in high school and they're like world famous. You guys know that, right? Like I'm talking, they're flown in to like fashion week. Fashion week. Magazines pay for them, for their hotel, for their car, for their driver just to go visit the fashion week so they can sit on the front row and tell the world what they think about the fashion show. And they're, they're some of, actually some of them are younger than you are, the youngest and one of the most famous stylists, fashion rookie, she's 13 when she started her blog. She's like, what, 14 now? Yeah, she's like really tiny. But she's 14. Are you, many of you are not 14 here, right? So um, that's, 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 that's something you should, and you can do it. And the only reason maybe you're not doing it because no one like said, you know what? Try it. What the what's the worst thing that can has happened to you? Okay, you don't have followers. So what? Doesn't matter. Probably you will have followers. I'm sure. Um, and that brings me to another thing that you know, if you do like blogging and researching and writing, I mean maybe you have like a Facebook fan page or you Twitter, you have a Tumblr account. This is other things like I, for Daddy's Fortune, I Twitter at least seven times a day. So please connect to me on Twitter. It's at Daddy's Fortune. Um, we have a Tumblr account and it get, it's every day it gets retumbled by like hundreds of Tumblrs, you know, like they, they repost it on the Tumblr. Uh, we obviously have our own site as well and we have a Facebook fan page. But this is the world out there. This is the world. It's only the beginning, some people say. In like five years, everything is going to be like virtual, electronic. We won't have any magazines anymore. It's going to be all of, you know, you go through iPad and you see something you like. You put your finger there and it tells you where you could buy it. It even gives you like mm -hmm. how far you have it dry and, you know, what's on sale. That's how it's going to be like crazy. The magazines will be like virtual shopping carts. You could look through Vogue magazine on your iPad and you like shop at the same time. <laughs> I don't know. That's what's coming apparently. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> you hope not. I hope not too. But um, I want to ask you if you have any questions.